Newport Harbor was well known for being snappy dressers. As far as being, uh, you know, meat-eating football players, come on. It was kind of the thing to do when we went to Newport Harbor was you signed up for freshman football because that's what all your buddies were doing. We certainly didn't have the size or the speed or the talent that a lot of these football programs had. It was not Pop Warner. This is not club football. We're not out here to have fun. We're out here to knock folks on their butt. When we, you know, we first met, his charisma was such that it was just so electrifying that you just, he was like, like a religion. He just set the bar high, but we didn't feel pressured into doing it. It was really, you can do this. What we did, we didn't have any right. But suddenly we were knocking people down. And we were doing things. And pretty soon, we believed. I mean, I still talk about it, you know, on a given day today. I think about it all the time. I think about it all the time, about, about that year. What I do today, I know that I achieved because of what I learned from learning. You know, I think back to this day, did I love football or did I love Coach Johnson? I don't even know what the distinction was there. Because I'm not that tough guy, football guy, but I certainly was a guy that wanted Ernie to, or Coach Johnson to say good job. <laughs>